Hey guys, it's part six of the Does Size Matter series. This week we're doing the centers. Last time out we did the fly halves and that was very interesting. If you want to check that out, it is linked up here. In that video we saw that different sizes means uh, the fly half does different rolls around the park. Some of them will kick more if they are different size. Some of them will run a little bit more. Some of them, their defense is a bit worse. Uh, according to their size. Uh, I just want to make a big announcement before I continue with this week. The end of next week, Friday, uh, 7 o'clock Friday night, I'm going to be talking to G-Man Gareth Mason on my channel. We're going to have a live stream. Uh, it's going to be a little bit rugby related, but we're going to more or less get to know each other, talk a little bit about rugby, and then if you want to tune into that, Please check that out and then we're also going to determine something to talk about the week after we're going to do a live stream on his channel. So we're going to get a big topic so that we can discuss it for a whole night. So if you want to give your opinion or give a weightage in on something you want us to talk about, be there 7 o'clock next Friday. So that awesome announcement is out of the way. Let's get into the centers. As always, I made this big list of centers in Super Rugby next to me. And actually, it was quite difficult, this one. Because most teams have centers that are listed as utility backs. So guys that can play on the wing, like the Jaguares have guys that play on the wing, fullback, fly half, and center. So that was quite hard, actually, to determine which guys are actually centers this year and which guys aren't. Uh, some guys are listed as centers, but they haven't played as centers once this year. Uh, the lightest center so far this year is Jackson Hope from the Sunwolves. The shortest one is Fayane. According to some Wikipedia pages or some other pages, Laumape is supposed to be the shortest as at 171. But you also get different heights for him. So please, someone confirm to me how tall is Laumape. I have him down as 1.77. Esterizen, he is the heaviest and the tallest center in Super Rugby. Looking closer at the conferences, the average weight of all of the teams in each conference are basically the same. While in the New Zealand conference, their centers tend to be a bit shorter than in South Africa and in Australia. Okay, so first we'll have a look at all the team stats, which tend to sometimes be interesting with some positions. The centers, not that much, but uh, there is some, uh, some things we can still read into that. And then we'll go into the individual stats straight after that, the most interesting stuff in all of these videos. Looking at the teams, we can see the New Zealand teams have the most short centers. Like we said, they're, they're on average the shortest. And South Africa and Australia have the tall ones. South Africa have two teams with heavy centers as well. Here's the first look at the team rankings. Weight-wise, the Stormers, Brumbies, Sharks and Hurricanes are at the top of the list. While at the bottom we have the Lions, Bulls and Jaguares. Now it's time to relate these sizes to the overall stats of the team. So how many points the whole team scores or how many uh, runs the whole team makes in correlation to the center sizes. First I'm going to look at the points. There were no real correlation between the amount of points a team scores uh, and the weight of the centers they have. Except that the lighter teams tend to be in the bottom third of the of the table there. The heavier teams aren't in that bottom third. The same thing with with points on average, with the top three being big and average sides. On tries also, there is a little bit of a connection to center sizes, with the bottom five only being small and average sized. And tries on average was quite interesting with heavier Guys restricted to the middle of the table, except for the Brumbies who are, are at the top, but the rest of the list is heavy and light guys. Going into the running meters of a team, the centers do carry that a lot. We could see the top four of the running meters are actually the average and the light teams. And then the running meters on average was the same story with the Sharks and the Stormers being very heavy centers, being close to the bottom of the list, and the average and small guys are still at the top of the list. Into the individual stats we go, and that's where we get to interesting stuff. The most tries scored this season by centers 
uh, by Eno and Ioane. Rico Ioane is listed as a center this year. Uh, he's played, I think, three games at center and one at the wing. So I'd list him as a center in that respect. And they also listed him as a center before the season started. Uh, but in the try scored, you can see the heavier guys tend to score more tries. Try assist again, a more heavy guys on this list as well. Except for Fayane, who has the most try assist, who is a smaller center. But I think that has something to do with Yuani being on his outside. Most guys on this list actually have an average height. Then we get into a couple of types of centers. Uh, centers do tend to do three types of things. You get running type centers, you get the distributors that pass, and then you get kicking type of centers. Uh, those guys that are your second fly off on the park. Uh, first, we'll look at the runs. Obviously, most guys on this list are big centers and they like bashing into the defense. And two of these guys on the list are lighter ones being Paisami and Fayane. Paisami, he has a bright future ahead of him. You'll see him uh, pop up everywhere on this list. But if you look on average runs, you can clearly see it is dominated by the bigger centers. There's even less smaller ones on this list. Running meters made is clearly led by La Mape and Paisame is second. Like I said, he's popping up everywhere on my list. So you'll see it still. And with this, you can also see in the running meters on average, it confirms that bigger centers are the guys running into de the defense line. I don't think it took rocket science to know that. We know a big center likes carrying it forward. The next type of center or the next job that we get centers do is being a distributor in the side that the guy that gets a lot of passes away. So in this list we can see it's more of a 50-50 split of guys below average weight and size uh, and above average weight and size. So it was quite interesting to see there's no real average sized guys on this list. And Hunt who is clearly leading the passes. Passes on average tell exactly the same story with it being heavy and lighter guys in the list and no real average guys. Another part of distributing the ball is offloading as well. And in this list we could actually see in a, a four of the top five guys are average or small. Last role of centers you get is the kicker, the second 5 eighth, or the uh, guy that is your fly half, your second fly half on the park. So if big guys run and bash into the line, both the big and the small guys like distributing the guy. How do you even that out? Well, the smaller guys tend to kick the ball more if you look at this list, except maybe like anomaly like Esterazen who has a massive boot on him and that's why you, you see him pop up on this list as well. There are two more things left to look at on attack and both of them are coupled with running but I saved it for last. It is line breaks and defenders beaten. Line breaks, Ioane is the clear leader here but as you can see the list is quite mixed so it doesn't really matter uh, what size the centers are to break through a gap if there's a gap the guy would clear it But defenders beaten you can see on the other hand the bigger centers uh, Are the guys that do beat the defenders by bumping them off or something along those lines uh, But there are a couple of average guys on this list But mostly is a bigger guys defeating the defenders on defense This was quite interesting to me the defense part is always in most interesting to me uh, the best tacklers in the competition uh, for centers are easy to see. It is the lighter guys, as you can see on this list. Though uh, there are still some heavier guys in uh, the best tacklers, but the best of the best are the lighter centers. While we were searching for all the average side centers along all this list, and here they are on the worst tacklers list. You can see uh, Moria, he has 46 attempts and he has missed 20 of them. That is a lot. And most of the guys on this list is average size. So in summary, what we have learned is the big guys like running and bashing it forward. No rocket science there. We know that. The smaller guys kick, tend to kick the ball. And both of the bigger and smaller guys are the guys distributing the ball. The smaller guys do tend to tackle better in the center roles. While the average guys are the worst tacklers in the competition guys let me know your thoughts on what i analyzed with the centers down in the comments below i know there might be some fl flaws in my analysis if there is let me know down below i don't mind i want to see what you think of everything and then also give me any other video ideas tell me what you think of the video we're going to do with g-man 
Are you gonna tune in? Are you gonna see me next Friday night, seven o'clock? Cheers. Bye.